coming up on Double Tap TV. We introduce you to JAWS 2020. What are the new features? Options menu, basics, dot, dot, dot. And how to take advantage of them. The latest tech. I'm Alexa. I can answer your questions. Interviews. There will be several dozen shows trickling in over the months. Accessibility. We're, we're actually running a pilot scheme with the CNIB at the moment. This is Double Tap TV. Welcome to another edition of Double Tap TV. Thank you guys for being here. I am Mark Aflalo. Stephen Scott will join us in a moment. Before that, I want to remind you guys that you can get in touch with us so many different ways. Feedback at AMI.ca. That's our email address. Emails anytime, any kind of question. We'll be happy to get to it. On Twitter, you can use at Double Tap Canada. That's where you'll find us. And if you use the hashtag Ask Double Tap, we'll find that question pretty easily. And if you want to find archives of our shows, head on over to doubletap.online. So this week, I thought I'd task myself with a job to find out how Stephen Scott uses his computer. Now, since there's a brand new version of JAWS that was just dropped, JAWS 2020, I figured like a pretty good time to find out exactly what Stephen is using it for. So Stephen, you've loaded up your PC. Are you ready to tell us more? Yeah, that's right, Mark. Uh, I thought this week I would show you uh, how JAWS works. I know you're always intrigued as to how I actually use a computer and how I'm able to listen rather than see what's on screen. So I thought uh, this week it'd be quite nice to show you how it works, uh, give you a bit of a, an experience of that, but also for those who are regular users of screen readers to see some of the new features that are in JAWS 2020. Now there are many. Uh, JAWS is a very versatile program. It has so many functions. Whether you're an admin worker or an, a, math a mathematician and you happen to be blind, this program has got everything in it for you. Uh, I'm not going to get into all of it because honestly we'd be here for days trying to explain it all but there are some nice new features I want to show you and some hints and tips as well which I think might be useful to seasoned JAWS users out there. I know a number of people who still don't know all of the functions uh, and you know it, it's it, it would actually be impossible to know everything quite frankly there's so much in it. So let's dive right in. I've got my desktop open in front of me. I am going to apologize Mark it's a pretty boring desktop I've got here. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing on it, is there? Um, I think I've got a couple of icons. I've got um, my JAWS window on the top left, which is where I like to uh, to keep it, although it just kind of sits there by itself. Um, so let's have a look at the menus first. And this will give you an indication, Mark, as to how I actually use JAWS and how it works for me. So I'm wanting to get to the menus, and to do that on a screen reader, you just press the Alt key. It's actually the same as you can do uh, on a computer generally. This isn't a JAWS thing, it's a Windows thing. And if you were to press your Alt key and then press your down arrow, it would take you to the menu at the top of the screen. So let's do that. Uh, I'll press Alt. Menu bar, options. To navigate, press left or right arrow, O. Oh. Okay, so a couple of things there. It's uh, telling me how to navigate from this point forward, go left and right, because it's telling me that that is where the other menu options are. So that's great. Now let's say I want to open up a web page, right? Uh, I want to open up Google Chrome first. So what I'll do is I'll press the Windows key on the computer. Search box edit, type in text. And it always tells me it's a start box edit, and depends how you've got your computer configured. It might also say Cortana. Uh, it will read back to you something. But essentially, you are in a search box, and that's useful for me because I want to get to Google Chrome. So I'm just going to start typing in the letters Google Chrome, the, the, the letters to spell the words. Google L, Google Chrome, app, press right to switch preview. So I didn't even finish typing Google Chrome, and the app popped up. Uh, the more you type, a bit like Google itself, the more you type, the more accurate the result will be. And in this case, it's, it's correct. So it's opened up the option for Google Chrome. All I have to do now is uh, hit spacebar or return. I'm going to hit return. Enter. New tab, Google Chrome. Okay, so I'm on the address bar. I'm not going to type in ami.ca. A, M, I, period. Now you will notice that it goes quiet as I'm typing. That happens quite a lot, nothing unusual. But I hit the enter button. Car. Enter. Blank. Accessible Media Incorporated. Media Accessibility for All Canadians. Google Chrome. Accessible Media Incorporated. Media Accessibility for All Canadians. So I'm going to press the control button, and what that does is it shuts him up, <laughs> essentially. Uh, so that's me. I'm on a website. And if I want to navigate that website, I very simply uh, look for, first thing, headings. Uh, that's the titles, the chapter titles, if you like, or the, the headings of the page, so I can find my way around quickly, rather than arrowing through every single word, every single button, every single link 
on the website, which I could do using the arrow keys. But truthfully, I just want to get to the information. So I'm going to hit H. A me home page heading level one. So I'm on the homepage again. Video Jake and Brian heading level two link. So Jake and Brian, a video there. I want to know more about that. It is a heading, so I'm going to have to arrow down to get into, assuming there is any text below that. Heading level two link Jake and Brian. For two Saskatchewan men, the love and support of family helped them reclaim their identity, passion, and purpose. So that sounds quite interesting, doesn't it? So what I'm going to do is go back to that heading where the link is. Heading level two link Jake and Brian. And hit enter. Enter. Jake and Brian Accessible Media Incorporated. Google Chrome. Heading level two link Jake and Brian. Five regions. Five headings and 53 links. List of one items. Link number got this. List and heading level one Jake and Brian. Brian. So it's going to start reading that page for me. I can turn that off in settings. I choose to do that. Once the page is loaded, it starts reading it. It means I know it's finished loading. Uh, some web pages take longer than others, as you know. So uh, I'm on the heading now, Jake and Brian. Uh, I'm going to see if there's any buttons on this page. And the reason I'm doing that is because if it's a video, I'm going to, assuming because it's AMI, that there'll be a video on there or some kind of audio that I can listen to, uh, I'm going to look for a player. So the best way to do that is uh, what you would do, Mark, I guess, is again, take your mouse, go to the big play button and click on play. But you can't do that when you're blind because you don't know where the play button is. But you can do that by hitting B for button. Play button. And there we are. Hit on space. Space, main region, article region. I'll press control to be, I'll press control to quieten it. And there we go. Having a physical disability and poor mental health is a battle. Skip back button. So I can press B again. And skip with. forward button. And I can use shift B this to go back. So I'm going forward through the buttons. This. And then I'm going back through the buttons again by holding down shift. Skip back button. Pause button. Space. I'll press pause. And that will let me pause the video. And that's how I navigate the website, Mark. Uh, I bet you're starting to wish you used your keyboard more. You know, Stephen, I sure am. It constantly, constantly catches me off guard and surprises me how much of a computer can be used with just the keyboard. You get so used to using different kind of control inputs that it's kind of amazing to me that you can navigate the entire thing with just your keyboard. It is Double Tap TV. He is Stephen Scott. I am Mark Aflalo. We're going to continue along this theme after we take a quick break. Again, the email address is feedback at ami.ca. On Twitter, we are at Double Tap Canada with the hashtag AskDoubleTap. When we come back, we continue talking about computer use and JAWS 2020. It's Double Tap TV. Love Double Tap TV? Listen to AMI-audio for Double Tap Canada every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern for news and reviews on everything tech. This is Double Tap TV. We are back on Double Tap TV. Thank you guys for being here. I am Marco Flalo, Stephen Scott with us as well. Of course, if you want to get involved, as always, feedback at ami.ca on Twitter at Double Tap Canada with the hashtag Ask Double Tap. So let's get back to Stephen Scott, who's showcasing some of the really nifty features of JAWS 2020. Of course, JAWS is the screen reader that is one of the most popular screen readers, even though, of course, we have them built into different software nowadays. Stephen? That's right, Mark. We're diving in uh, to JAWS this week, the screen reader option. It is a very expensive option for a lot of people, quite frankly, Mark. It's not the cheapest option out there. Uh, and there are, as I mentioned earlier, free options that you can get. NVDA is very reliable. Narrator is built into your computer now. Any Windows computer, you can get access to Windows Narrator just by hitting that Start button and typing in Narrator, hit Enter, and it's on. Uh, so that's great, and that's free. And they all work very similarly now. I mean, the commands I showed you earlier on how to navigate a website using H for headings, B for buttons, C for combo boxes, F for search fields. Um, all of that is the same across the board. Uh, it's slightly similar on the Mac, but a few differences and caveats. Of course, Mac always has to be different, but ultimately they are similar in operation. So once you've mastered one, you can use other screen readers. But the reason I like JAWS, the reason I use it all the time, is because it is the most reliable for me and it is the most flexible. It has so many functions to it. It's a very professional thing. And I, th I thought it would be really interesting to focus on it this week, especially for you, Mark, because I know you're someone who uses a computer all the time. You're using the mouse. Uh, you're using the mixture of the mouse and keyboard, but probably the mouse more. And I wanted to show you one feature 
of uh, JAWS 2020 that's just been launched this year, which I thought might interest you on this. Uh, so you would use the mouse, obviously, to get to certain specific areas of the screen. Say you wanted to click on a certain button or focus in on a particular area, you would use the mouse to get there. But of course, if you're blind, you can't just grab the mouse and take it to something because you don't know where that something is. It could be a piece of text that you might want to select, for example. How would you get the mouse to that word or how to that particular part of the screen? Well, that's where the new scan mode comes in on JAWS 2020. Now, this is a brilliant feature. I'm back on the screen here. I've got uh, my window open uh, for uh, settings. Uh, and I'm actually in the control panel here, and this is the Windows update part. Now, anybody who's been in here before will know only too well the challenge of navigating around this. There's so much information on the screen. It is essentially a large dialog box. There's a couple of buttons on there, um, but ultimately there's a lot of text. And what happens is the, the way we would navigate this as blind people is we would use our tab key uh, to navigate around. So let's see what happens when I move around the screen using the tab button which is the way to move around uh, any screen in Windows. Update and security list box selected. Windows update, Windows update, check for updates button, download and install link. Now you just notice what happened there. So I tabbed on update and security. I then got check update. Check for updates button to activate. And then press, download and install link. I got a download and install link, but there's text before that, that it's not reading. And if I use the up and down arrow, nothing's happening. So I don't know what update I'm actually installing. What is this? Is this a good thing? Do I want this? Is this an update that perhaps I've read I shouldn't download? I don't want to just hit download and install. So what I do is I use my insert key and my plus symbol. JAWS scan to PC. And that turns on JAWS to scan PC. Now all I have to do now is use my arrow keys to just go up and down and the cursor actually goes with it as you'll see Mark. The next version of Windows is available with new features and security improvements. When you're ready for the update, select download and install. You know what it's like? You are on Twitter or you're on Facebook and a really funny meme pops up. And you maybe look at the meme and you have a bit of a laugh, a bit of a chuckle. And for those who don't know what a meme is, a meme is usually a picture of something, uh, something crazy uh, or something simple. But it has text around it which gives the whole thing a different meaning and, and maybe a joke or whatever. And I, so I've got one here. I've got a, a meme on my desktop that I've downloaded to demonstrate to you how JAWS 2020 can actually take that meme and turn it into something that we'll all get, hopefully, hopefully get the joke in the process. Um, so I'm on the desktop again. I'm going to go into Windows Explorer by holding down Windows and pressing Windows E. File Explorer. And that will take me into the File Explorer. I'm going to shift tab to go to the tree view, which is on the left hand side of the screen. Tree view. And I'm going to hit D for desktop. D, enter. Enter that and then tab over. Items view multi select list box. And I'll be able to uh, find my uh, funny image by pressing the letter F to find it in the list of items in here. F, funny image. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to open up the image. Enter, photos. And funny on this page that's been brought up, this photo that's been brought up, uh, we've got an image of a muscly baby and uh, the muscly baby's got his or her, I'm not sure uh, which gender this baby is because um, I can't see the picture, uh, but uh, it is a baby raising its arms up in the air in a sort of muscly style pose, like a showing off kind of mode. And um, the text on the screen says, I'm on a seafood diet, I seafood and I eat it. So that's the joke, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna come out of that image. Alt F4. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use PictureSmart, a feature in JAWS 2020, that will scan that image and hopefully give me the information I've just given you. So I've told you what it says on the image. Let's see if JAWS can pick it up. So um, I'm going to uh, hold down insert and press spacebar. Space. P for PictureSmart. P, PictureSmart. And F for file. PictureSmart is in progress. Takes a second. And then, hopefully. Oh, come on. Heading level two caption is a person posing for the camera. There you go. Heading level five total number of faces in this photo is one. Heading level four this text appears in the photo. I'm on a seafood diet. I see food and I eat IT. We know memes. 
No memes. So it's telling me it's a meme. It's told me the joke, although it said eat IT, but I get the idea. Um, and if I go further down in this list, it will actually tell me things about the picture. It'll tell me, for example, that there's a child in the picture, that the child is smiling. It gives me that information because it's using artificial intelligence to, to figure out what's in the image. So there you go, Mark. I'm even able to get memes now off uh, social media, which is just fantastic, isn't it? Wow, that's amazing. You know, I mentioned earlier that I didn't realize how much of a PC you can actually use with a physical keyboard, but to find out that you can actually control the mouse as well is pretty, pretty cool. And it really opens up a whole new realm of things that you can do. And that's a great new feature of the new JAWS 2020. You know, one might wonder why that wasn't in there years and years and years ago. Obviously, it takes a lot of development to do this kind of stuff. We've got more hints and more tips coming up. Stick around. It is Double Tap TV. He is Steven Scott. I am Mark Aflalo. We'll be back in just a moment. For more great Double Tap TV content, visit ami.ca slash Double Tap. This is Double Tap TV. Welcome back to Double Tap TV. Stephen Scott and Mark Aflalo with you. Feedback at ami.ca is our email address. If you want to check out our website, it is doubletap.online. There's a reason I'm giving that out now. I'll get to that after another quick little segment from Stephen, a little training going on. Of course, on Twitter, if you want to get in touch, it's at DoubleTapCanada. And use that hashtag, which is AskDoubleTap, so that we can get to your questions. Let's get back to Stephen Scott, who's showing us all his JAWS 2020 skills this week. Stephen, what, what are you showing us now? Well, to be quite honest with you, Mark, I could show you lots, but we don't have that much time. So I want to dive back into the website that we were looking at earlier, the AMI website. Here it is in all its glory. And um, you might remember Jake and Brian from earlier, the TV show that we were going to watch. I managed to get to the play button. I used the B button and I uh, was able to find the play button, listen to a bit of the, the film, Absolutely fantastic. Well, one of the things that I want to do quite a lot, and I'm sure you do too, is go back and forward on the website. Sometimes you want to go back a page or, you know, if, if you were in, say, search results, you want to go back to the search results and go back through them again. How do you do that just by using the keyboard? Well, there's a very simple technique and I'm going to show you here. Uh, you hold down the Alt key and you press the left arrow key or the left cursor key, if you like. Uh, hold down Alt, press left, And accessible Media Incorporated. Media go. accessibility for all. Can so I'm back on the home page of the AMI website. And if I want to go forward, I can just hold down Alt and use the right arrow or cursor key. Jake and Brian Accessible Media Incorporated. And there you go. So that's me back on the page. So those are really kind of neat little tricks you can learn. Of course, I mentioned earlier Alt and D that very quickly gets you to the address bar. That works in Google Chrome, but it works in Firefox, it works in uh, Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer, it works across the board. These are standard Windows commands. They're actually nothing to do with JAWS, but if you are a keyboard user, you need to know a lot of these commands. Now, I'm gonna also show you some of the other functions of JAWS that I really enjoy. Uh, for example, when you're on a web page, you might be looking for a specific link, or you might want to know what links are there to, to tap on, rather than just going through endless text or maybe you're looking for a heading so you can get to a specific part of the page quickly. Think about large documents, websites with tons of links on them. How do you very quickly find what you're looking for? Now I know, for example, on the Accessible Media Inc. page, there's a link for shows. So let's try and find that. What you do is you hold down the insert key and you press the F7. JAWS version 2020, 2001, 70 on links list dialog. So what that's telling me is, uh, first of all, it started reading me the, the full uh, name of the program, which is always interesting. It will do that occasionally. But it's also telling me that I'm in a links list dialog. And what that means is I now have all of that website essentially turned into a big list that I can just arrow through. Brilliant. So simple. So let me just arrow through and let's find out what uh, links are on this page. Amitelli.com. Sitemap and all I'm doing is, 67. And all I'm doing here is I'm just using the up and down arrows. Site accessibility. About me. Contact US. Diving guide. Ain't listen live. Schedules. Okay, so you're getting the idea. Lots and lots of things on there. But I'm looking for shows, specifically shows. Um if I maybe just type it in. 
I'll move up and down with the arrows to see if I'm near. Help shows 11 of 67. So that's just one of 67 links on there. Wow. Uh, so I found it. I found the one I'm looking for. I can then just hit enter. Enter. And what that does is it takes me right to the page. Shows Accessible Media Incorporated shows. So there you go. So I could, for example, now go back into Insert F7 and sneakily... JAWS version 2020, 200. Look for double tap. So if I just do D-O-U. U, double tap, double tap TV. There we go. So there's our show. So I can hit enter on that. Enter. And it will take me straight to our page. Double Tap TV Accessible Media Incorporated. Double. So there you go. So you're now getting the idea of how very quickly I can navigate around the computer and indeed the website as well. Incredible, isn't it? Okay. Well, a couple of other things I want to show you. Uh, some of them are a bit silly, uh, but I love them. Um, I mean, one in particular, which I think is quite useful if you struggle with light perception. For me, this is, a, is an absolute winner. You don't, if you're struggling to, to see because of the, the brightness of the screen, you might want to turn the screen off. So I'm going to show you how it works on JAWS 2020, and it has done now for a couple of versions. Hold down Insert, press the space bar, space. and I'm going to go to F11, on. and that's it. The screen has just gone completely blank. Now, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong with the computer at all. It will all work if I hit the Windows key. Search box edit. And I try and go to Google Chrome. Google, Google Chrome. I can hit Enter. Enter. Double Tap TV Accessible Media Incorporated. Because it's already open, it's going straight back to that page. But I know all that, even though the screen's off, because I'm just listening. I'm, I'm using JAWS the way it's intended. To turn it off, all I do is hit insert space. Space. And then F11. Off. And there you go. So on, off, as simple as that. Now, you can turn speech off as well. If, if you find, for example, you're in a meeting and maybe the computer keeps talking, we'll do that sometimes. Maybe a notification will pop up and you think, oh, hang on a minute. Uh, well, you can do the same thing. Insert spacebar. Space. Hit S. Speech on demand. And that turns off speech. So it means no matter what happens on the computer, you're not going to get any speech from it, which is great, as I say, in meetings if you haven't got your earphones in. Uh, again, to turn that off, insert spacebar. Full speech. And the letter S again, and there you go, you're back. So I've got access to lots of information really easily, Mark, just by using the keyboard. Quite incredible, I'm sure you'd agree. I hope you've learned something this week. I certainly have, and honestly, I don't think that I've ever really completely grasped how blind people actually use their computer. And now that I have, Stephen, don't give me any excuses about not responding to my emails. I'm going to be sending you tons of work down the road, lots of stuff coming your way. And as Stephen mentioned, of course, if you guys want to find out more about JAWS 2020 or JAWS in general, head on over to our website. It's doubletap.online and just search for JAWS in the search window, J-A-W-S, and you can see lots of cool stuff that we have done in the past. Thank you guys for being here on this week's edition of Double Tap TV. Thank you for Stephen Scott, obviously, for walking us through JAWS 2020. And thank you all for being here. If you want to get in touch, it's feedback at ami.ca on Twitter where you're at Double Tap Canada and of course check out JAWS on the website doubletap.online. Thank you guys for being here. We will speak to you again on the next episode of Double Tap TV. For more great Double Tap TV content, visit ami.ca slash double tap. Hosted by Marco Flalo and Stephen Scott. Editing Will Attar. Integrated the Scribe Video Specialist Ron Rickford. Coordinating producer Jennifer Johnson. Director Production Karen I. Director Programming Brian Perdue. VP Programming and Production, John Melville. President and CEO, David Arrington. Copyright 2020, Accessible Media, Inc.